And welcome back. Our next story is about a man who is devoted to his job. He takes care of 20 adults and four youngsters. He looks after them, keeps them out of trouble, and doesn't get paid a cent for doing it. Now, he wouldn't trade his job for anything. This is really the story of a man who looks after his family, a family of swans. Welcome back to the lake, you guys. You've been over the dam. What's your number? Bob Miller is keeping track of his flock. I'm number one on the police uh, phone list. You know, if the swans decide that they're going to march uptown and hold up traffic at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. Have they done this? Uh, oh, yes. That, that pair that did that aren't here anymore. <laughs> they held up traffic in, in downtown Stratford? <laughs> oh, yes. He was on his way to the liquor store, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Bob is Stratford, on. Ontario's honorary keeper of the swans. No one pays him to do this. He just happens to love these birds. This year, he has 20 adults and four babies under his wing. Can you pet these swans, or are they... Uh, no, I wouldn't try that. You wouldn't try that. <laughs> oh, look at the baby. Here comes the baby. Come on, little one. Come on. Here you go. Here you go. That's all right. He's uh, making sure that you don't touch the signets. Oh, the, 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 the cob. The cob. What do you call the mother again? He's a cob and she's a... Pen. A what? A pen. A e pen. A pen. A cob and a pen and signets. That's right. Boy, oh boy. Easy, Daddy. Bob tours Lake Victoria on the Avon four or five times a day. I can drive around, uh, and uh, I can tell you whether there was a swan missing or not, because I count them as I go by. He keeps detailed notes of his observations, and over the years, he has established systems for their care and feeding. These are mute swans. Scientific name is uh, Cygnus Olor, and Cygnus is Latin for swan, and Olor is Greek for swan, so it's a swan swan. <laughs> <laughs> After he's toured the lake, Bob makes a separate trip over to the art gallery reservoir. Come on. This is where a pair of Australian black swans live. Bob keeps them far away from the others to prevent territorial disputes. Once they establish the nesting area, that's when the fighting starts because there's a definite boundary line and the male bird is dominant in his own territory. If another bird comes in there, he'll drive it out. Bob is sort of like a parent, watching his kids fight and grow and mature. He has names for many of them, like his favorite, the West End Lady. She lives over at the golf course with her mate. She's 22 years old, and she's had quite a life. The West End Lady uh, originally uh, came from uh, Great Britain to Ottawa, to Stratford, uh, and uh, she has been uh, widowed once, divorced once, separated once, and uh, <laughs> lost her mate last year, it was murdered by another uh, cob, and uh, not only has all those things happened to her, but she's thrown her ring off <laughs> four times. <laughs> well, maybe she'll have better luck with her new mate. The West End Lady is a royal swan, one of several the Queen gave to Canada from her very own flock. The Queen has a keeper of the swans in Great Britain, and uh, he has a uniform and a captain's hat and all that sort of thing. And what's your uniform? Uh, this hat and these binoculars. <laughs> And that's good enough for Bob Miller. His reward is a happy and healthy flock. And everyone around here sure appreciates it. Thank you, Mr. Miller, for making Stratford on the Avon a better place to be. Love ya. Thank you, Mr. Miller, for your 40 years of labor. Forty years without pay We appreciate it From all of the swans on the Amon River From the West End lady and her current lover Thank you, Mr. Miller
Thank you, Mr. Miller, honorary keeper of the swan. Who's this guy? Is he a little helper? Uh, yeah, that's my chainsaw bear. <laughs>